1945, Soviet Air Force drops the A-bomb on Berlin, ending World War II in Europe. Um, I think that's not that's not correct. Uh, Britain reluctantly joins the communist bloc, the last European country to do so. You know, this something about this doesn't seem right at all. Despite U.S. protests, mid-range nuclear missiles are placed in Cuba. The Soviet Union sends thousands of military advisors to Guatemala and Honduras. God, wait, is this a Metal Gear game? Mexican Communist Party celebrates disputed victory in presidential election. I, I don't know. This seems inaccurate. Foiled assassination attempt on the U.S. president and unnamed foreign powers implicated. So we're, we're playing Freedom Fighters. I don't remember this fucking Metal Gear-ass, cool-ass intro. Reports of low-flying drones from all over the USA. The government dismisses the sightings as weather balloons. The government loves to dismiss things. Boo! Eh, it's all right. I mean, I suppose it's all right that they published this. I mean, is it great that they never published one again? You know, IO Interactive, still love you guys. I, I wish you'd do something other than Hitman for a change. Now, I'm no submarine scientist. I'd like to think you shouldn't be piloting your submarines that goddamn close. It's it's a little much. Jesper Kids, always super solid. Now that's a title screen, I'm <laughs> just saying. A little on the nose, but sometimes you need to boop that that nose, you know, every so often. Now I've had a few requests for Freedom Fighters in the past, either just to play it or, or talk about it, but one of IO Interactive's, like, anyway, most forgotten games. Yo, why why did Snooki and JWoww and Dina ruin Angelina's wedding? I don't know about that shit, man. That was uncalled for. Anyway, why am I in this? It's got, it's got my canter. Look, there's me, Luigi, and there's Super Eye Patch Wolf standing right next to me in the blue. There he is! <laughs> Volgan? <laughs> don't, I'm currently not seeing anybody. Whoa! All right, Super Eye Patch Wolf's got to save me. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus Christ! Whew! Ah, uh, that's pretty good, Io. It's been a. L I played this when this game was new. I remember really liking it at the point. There's a lot of squad based mechanics. And it's one of the first games that pioneered, like, waist high cover. I think. I, I remember something being about that. I might be wrong. I'm just saying. So I, I like how I already have the mechanics of a squad, despite the squad no longer being here. Maybe they'll be here later. I guess all I could do is bring other plumbers with me right now. I'm the pull-out king, Koopo. Some type of, I don't know, ballistics holder? I don't know what that is. Just don't, I guess I could, you know, I'm a little filthy. I'm a dirty, dirty plumber. <laughs> Defend this bathroom! It's the last bastion of humanity! Stand your ground. Watch for Soviets. <laughs> alright, alright, let's see what's going on. Oh no, that's really bad! Now there's only one Soviet, so let's just whack him. Have you been properly whacked? It is fortunate that you found me. Quickly, this way. Okay. DEFEND! Why aren't you guys defending the bathroom? Oh, okay. Regroup. Oh shit, nice one. He won't trouble us anymore. I, I guess not, because you killed him, so that's good. Yo, give me back my brother! This is like a Mario game, look how hard he can jump. Wow, that's actually pretty impressive looking. Uh, for the, I'm playing this on my 360. It has backwards compatibility. Uh, Freedom Fighters does. So I'm, I'm kind of pleased with how it looks. Especially since not all games ran in widescreen. This is like a 2003 game. Now I can see some uh, issues with the emulation. Just a little like that up there. Uh, but yeah, whatever. It's not a major thing. Is there anything we can do? I, I, just, I, I maybe use good old Fire Barrel Chan. Yeah, that worked. Man, in like twenty, Jesus, in like three, the year three thousand, video games will still have barrels to shoot. Mark my words, people from the future, if this video survives the apocalypses of which you know there could be many of them, I'd like to think that I'll I'll be right. Technically, we're in the city, but you know semantics. 
Holy shit. Wow. Cool. I mean, that's not cool, but uh, impressive graphically. Oh, here's here's a friend. He's wounded. Take this. You have a fine. Save this man's life. Oh, jeez, stop it with the orders. I'm doing it. You want to follow me? Okay, come with me, guys. I've got supplies that'll get us out of this mess. Cool. Follow me. Set me free. I guess, trust me, and we will escape from the city. Grab a Molotov, let's show the Reds. Okay, well, this that the Molotov is literally this game's logo, so why not? Throw those babies! Galloway, what the? Where'd you go? Huh? I thought I was waiting for more of an explosion. Dude, your Molotovs are whack as shit. Oh, this control's a bit jank, though. I have to say, I mean, this was pre RE4, of course, but still. Open this manhole with your wrench. Open this manhole with your wrench, plumber. That's why I brought you aboard. Why are manholes round? So the lid doesn't fall in. Gosh, she looks like Lana from WWE. I hope she has a co anchor that's a big, angry green alien. Our Soviet leaders have been concerned for years by the plight of the poor American people. Yeah, yeah, the Soviets looked at America and they were like, damn, bitch, you live like this. It's called the New World Order. It's just too sweet and for life. Nice mutton chops, loser. It's not the 1800s. So that opening intro is very kind of serious, like, like again, very Metal Gear, but the rest of the game is already a little bit sillier than my memory recalls. And you know what I'm shades of, or the game came way later after this, is just the freedom fighter aspect of the more recent Wolfenstein games. And it'll obviously replace the Soviets with, with Nazis, but I'm just saying, uh, I, maybe that's where they took a little bit of inspiration. Like, you know, it's all makeshift and ramshackle. Okay, so we have complete domination of the sewers. Can we get the turtles on board? There's two buildings in Brooklyn, the post office and the police station. That's it. Um, uh, I, I guess we'll take the post office. We'll take America back. Oh, right. You're always raising flags on the buildings that you, or the levels that you beat, which is, you know, nice, nice touch. But now I'm a freedom fighter. Super eye patch wolf is. I say that because it was like the joke said uh, that John looks a lot like every default character <laughs> in the game. Unfortunately, he's a very handsome man. But I love how my my uh, my uh, plunger is about to say my plumbing overalls are kind of around my waist. You know, very Alex from Third Strike. Oh, look at this! We have this fucking weird plant growing in here. That's nice. That inspires us. My jump is very Duke Nukem Forever. Like, <laughs> yeah, we crawled out of our manholes. Nice. So I went in with no guys, no friends. I have uh, one gun. Maybe, maybe this guy could be a freedom fighter. Cool. I like, I like talking. What's up? We want to talk about graffiti. Yo, that Tiger King shit was fucked up, bro. Alright, so I need another man's hole to, to crawl into. Th then freedom fighting will begin. I guess those are Soviets. Let me let me zoom in. Yeah. Yeah, they seem unfriendly. Cool, this is gonna be a sneaking mission. I can already see. Manhole, manhole. Wow, your guy's base is, is right there they n they never saw you huh all right so maybe there's more explosives inside this sewer another location let's say uh so i guess i can't do post office yet and i should do police station and then i can rescue that's actually kind of neat it's I, I i mean why give me a choice at all at that point but you know they remind me just testing the collision you know it's 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 important Seems solid, cool. All right, so that's Isabella. Only ten thousand dollars. Come on, Russia. You could pay more than that. All right, these 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 are the boys in blue. We're gonna help them out. Ow! What the hell? Did it get shot? Oh, those are the snipers. Okay. Grab some explosives and get back to the sewer. Go to the gas station. That's where you'll need to blow the fuel tank. Just go through the sewer you came from. 
Okay, cool. All right, so now I head back to where I go. This this is a lot more interesting of a mission setup than I initially thought. Even even more than I initially thought because I I assume we were going on this and we're going to do this whole thing. But you know, get an item, go back here. It's kind of cool. Now the load times getting in between each area are not so cool. They're a lot more than I would think. Yo, thanks for the help, asshole. There's guys right there. Thanks. Seems to be like a little generous auto-aim when you're firing from the hip, which I don't mind for a game like this when they haven't really mastered the uh, the nuances of third-person shooting quite yet. All right, I have the explosives, kid. Check that. You found some C4 I did check that. Cool. You're just, you're just good. You continue with the tagging. You know, freedom, that's a good thing to write. The, the Soviets in the, this game hate that. So I'd assume blowing this up would blow up the gas station. This seems like a shit gas station, actually. Or maybe these, highly flammable. That's perfect, I have explosives. I hope this explosion's good. It, it was an explosion. Yeah, fanfare. That's blown up. Did you like, did you hear about some badass with a large penis blew up the gas station? Damn it. Okay, we gotta go save Isabella. So since we blew up the uh, snipers, I guess this guy will probably tell me something. If you're gonna infiltrate the police station, I recommend you use the subway tunnel. Huh? The subway tunnel feeds into the police station? It's a little odd. Dude, this was a setup, man. These guys were right here. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot your leg out of your leg. And that's why you're sitting there with no legs. I mean, hello? So yeah, there's a lot of like hiding behind cover in this. I, I have a memory of it. I'm not sure if it feeds into combat, but I don't know. I remember. Oh, shit. Ooh, is that a shotgun? Yeah. Oh, please don't see me. Please don't see me. Have bad vision. Oh, it's good vision, actually. I wasn't too bad, actually. I probably could have stalled that all the way, but, I mean, they're not that hard to deal with. Ugh. Wow! I love the physics in this game. That was loading the shotgun way too fast. Doing this in the name of freedom. Where's Angelina Jolie? What the? Is this the illusionary wall? Damn. Hold on, hold on, I'm coming there, I'm coming. Oh, I kind of shot him in the dick, oh, that's not great. I'm always afraid of, like, shooting uh, people in the general penis area in video games. Because I always think of some scenario, what if you're, you're, you're dying, and then the sorrow shows up and he makes you relive all that? That, can, that won't be good. Alright, well, I really could have used some freedom fighters to help me with this, but they all seem busy. <laughs> They seem to really not like you. I don't know if they need this many wanted posters in their own building. Just saying. Dude, I Soviets, I don't know how you're getting that much done with these old ass typewriters. I, look, this guy's got a computer. He must be the... And he's just playing solitaire! Help me! Okay, cool. I found her. Okay, that was the boss of Russia right there. Where is she? Did I miss her? Oh, she's right here. Thanks. Don't forget the flag. Huh? Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. Just give me... I guess I have it in my inventory already. Whatever. Maybe she has it. I gotta help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's up getting shot. <laughs> Whatever. You guys didn't win. All right, so let's go back to the post office. And now, now that I have Angelina Jolie, I could talk to that guy outside that thing. Follow me, Chris. I'll take you to the safe house. Okay. You look like every female video game protagonist that I can think of from this era. Yes, and I owe it all to this man. Hey, you must be Chris. Come on in. Yeah, you were talking shit about me before, dude. You gotta help me find my brother. They stole my Mario. We're using it as a staging place for this mission. Let's plan our next move. Yeah, I hate Skynet too. You have a new profession now, freedom fighter. Do I get paid? Do you have a media room? What's going on? Here we have an overview of the enemy compound. 
You can see them unloading equipment. We're staring at them right through the windows. He's already seen me! That guy got aggroed! This is supposed to be like a cutscene! Okay, well, I've already kind of fucked up. I didn't do it. I didn't shoot my gun. I, uh, recruit a fight. Cool. You too. We rolling. Okay, cool. Sorry, I already kind of aggroed everyone down there. You deal with that. Well, this is a little weird. I've never really seen this before. Just the, the body swapping mechanic, I guess. I can't even do that Homer noise anymore. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I am fighting for that freedom. I'm getting lots of it. So that's my one guy. There's others. There's guys up here, though. Cool. Good. Take him out, dude. Look, he's doing it. Ice cold. <laughs> of course, use machine gun. Why not? You don't need those expensive cars. Search over there. Take them down. Please take them down. Friends, where are you? Hello? They're not here. There they are, finally. Dude, take them down. Okay, I just tested your abilities. That, that, and you guys passed. You, you took a little while to get here. I'm not gonna lie. That's my guy, I forgot. Should probably be some type of halo or something around and let them let me know. This woman is basically the boss, which is awesome. I hope, I hope this story doesn't wind up like that story. Like, if they had little arrows on top of their head and they'd appear through, like, uh, the walls of a level just to always let me know that they're on their way and they're not hung up on stuff, that would be pretty useful. This is the type of game that begs for, like, a remake or something. Pull out! You gotta pull out. There's a freedom man. Don't shoot the freedom man. Good. Wait, it's my bro! Cool. Where are you? Where are you going? Come back, Get back here. dude! Why'd you do that? Anyway, we did it. Just a few more bad guys. There you go. Time for hoisting. Yeah, that's the stuff. And she's all like, a bunch of assholes took over the police office and the, <laughs> the police office. The post office and police station. The post station. The leader of this rebel group used complicated commands for 2003 to navigate his AI to destroy a bunch of other AI. Dude, you have way better pictures before on the wanted poster and stuff. The group was led by a shadowy figure as yet unidentified, but believed to be a male... His gait kind of implies that he's a plumber. Oh, I wish you would go to, like, a feel-good story about, like, you know, like a squirrel that can jet ski. You don't have to go through this cutscene every time we come back to the hideout, do we? Alright, cool, what we gotta do? I can club anybody I want with my wrench, right? I say we should just run and gun. That always works. Yo, what's up? Gotta be other freedom fighters outside Manhattan. I'm gonna find them, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. tell them what we got going on here. Well, why don't we like body meld instead, there, Troy? Oh, geez, uh, Troy, your head seems to be really crackalacking over there. <laughs> there's a few, there's a, there's a few bugs in, in Freedom Fighter. Nothing really debilitating, but they're pretty funny. And with that, I can kind of see how, how this game works, and this is still really fun. I think it's a, a fun setup with how the missions are laid out, and the commands seem to work well enough. Again, though, there's a little bit of clunkiness with, with the controls and, and clicking in on the sticks. I mean, that's more of a thing of that this was on the uh, Xbox and PS2. Was it on the GameCube as well? I don't remember. But, you know, this this still holds up uh, as early as it is. Again, this is 2003. Man, IO Interactive had a lot more to give than just Hitman over and over and of course um Kane and Lynch cuz they, you know, they had some other ideas that were worth exploring, but it is what it is, I guess. Uh any other third-person shooters like this you'd like me to uh, shoot up on the channel? Let me know. And I'll see what I can do for you.